Welcome to the Lipstick Living channel. I'm Rachel and you can find me on Instagram at the Lipstick Living. Please like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. So today's video is going to be my quarter three favorites. So my quarterly favorites, I'm hoping to do this every quarter and I'm starting with quarter three, which is July through September. So I have broken up the products and things that I'm gonna be talking about in sections. So first I'm gonna start with beauty. So in this section, I have Olive and June nail polish. So I bought this over the summer, but I got kind of fall colors, which um, I started wearing later, but I did get this nude color that I wore over the summer. And I like this nail polish a lot. It does last a long time. Normally my nail polish will chip within a few days, but this will definitely last at least a full week before it starts to like look kind of bad. But you can easily touch it up and it probably could last two weeks. I do wash my hands a lot, so if you're not someone who washes them constantly or does dishes a lot, then it might last you a little bit longer. But I really do like their nail polish, so it's Olive and June. And I have shades MG and JJ, and I'm wearing JJ on my nails now, so I'll show you a close-up. So this is JJ, and these are my nails with them painted. I just painted them so they're not like, there's some on my skin that I haven't washed up yet, but, and then this is the other color that I got, which is MG, and it's like a lighter color. So I wore this over summer, it's like a peachy color. A peachy nude. And then the next product is my foundation. So I found this, or started using this in June, at the end of June. So I've, I've been using it consistently through the whole quarter. And I bought this when we were in DC. We went to Alexandria. Uh, we took a ferry to Alexandria one day and we were kind of just walking around and looking at different shops and there was a Sephora and I needed something so I went in. But then I saw that um, they had, I saw the Norris Foundation and I had heard, I think from, I think Jacqueline Hill mentioned it, saying that she mixes it with her foundation stick. And I've used that foundation stick for years. It's by Hourglass. I think it's the Hourglass Vanish foundation stick. I've been using that for years, but it doesn't give you a full coverage. And she was saying that she mixes the two. And so I thought I would try it. So I got it and I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. It's very long lasting and it does, when you pair it with the, the foundation stick from Hourglass, it does give you a full coverage. Um, and I am wearing it now. So my shade is Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it is the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation from NARS. And then my other beauty products, I guess, would be my shampoo and conditioner. So I got this over the summer as well. It's Olaplex. My hairdresser, Clarkie, recommended this, and I got the shampoo and conditioner. I don't use the shampoo every single time. I go off I go in between this and a Redken strengthening shampoo so I um, do this every other wash but I really really love the Olaplex it kind of smells like citrusy sort of or it could be a little medicinal but um, it's not terrible like it doesn't smell bad or anything yeah so but it makes my hair it strengthens it and it makes it look uh, way better i've noticed so i've been loving that okay i think that is it for my beauty section so next is health i think i use this one for more like mental health so for this i chose headspace which is an app i got um, i actually got it before quarter three I, I added it on my phone i think towards the beginning of the year in hopes of uh, meditating more but I actually purchased it over quarter three um, or maybe it was the end of quarter two but anyway I used it a lot through the last quarter and because um, I purchased it and so I wanted to get use out of it and, and it wasn't very expensive I bought uh, this subscription is a yearly one and I think it was maybe $40 so it wasn't very expensive um, and it's helped a lot I really enjoy it they have this wake up 
every morning. It's like a wake up segment where it's something different that you learn. It's maybe like between, I don't know, uh, four and seven minutes or something. And so it's something different every day that you can watch. And then after that you can do, they have a daily meditation, which is always a little different. And then you can do, there's like a whole sleep segment or a sleep section where you can listen to ASMR or meditative music to put you to sleep. There's also like white noise and things like that that you can listen to. I don't really use that because we have a hatch which is sort of like an alarm clock mixed with a sound machine and a night light. So anyway, I really like the hatch. So I use that for sleep stuff. I don't really use the sleep segment on the Headspace app, but I use the rest of it, the wake up and the daily meditation. They also have a breathing segment. It's really cool. So I would recommend getting that and definitely paying for it so that you have access to all the meditations. And then another thing in that segment is yoga with Adrian. So I have been doing that for a really long time, but I started doing it more so in quarter three. And I really love it. I love her. She's really calming. I like her voice. I usually like her yoga sequences that she has. So I really enjoy that. And then another segment is TV or movies that I've been enjoying. So I put Ted Lasso because we found this show towards the end of the last quarter and I really enjoyed that. I think it's really endearing and positive. It's like a feel good show and it's pretty funny. I think it's cute. It's based in London, I believe, somewhere in England. So they're basically all British actors, but Ted Lasso is a coach and he starts on this football league. He's really funny and he's nice. It's a good show. And then also Clickbait is another show that we binge. I think we watched the full show in like a day. It is kind of like a thriller, but a mystery, like a thriller and a mystery together. So this guy ends up missing and he has two kids and a wife and the kids find this video of him holding up this sign, basically that he's like held hostage. And the sign says, once I hit, once this video hits 5 million views, I'm gonna die or something like that. And so then it's like trying to find him. And it was really good, but I did not, I didn't like the ending as much. I wanted it to be, I thought it was gonna end different. So that was good that it didn't end the way I thought because I kind of liked that. But I don't like who it was behind the whole thing. I, I thought it, the story didn't hold up, but I did enjoy it. It was really entertaining. And then the other one is The Morning Show. I loved season one and season two just came out in, I think it was like mid-September when it came out. And so we've watched all the episodes up until now. I think there's a third one that we have to watch right now, but I really love season one and season two seems really good as well, but it has Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon and I love them both. And then another one is kind of a stupid show. It's called The Circle. It's on Netflix. And we started watching this during COVID, I think was the first season, but it's kind of gotten worse as the seasons go on. I think this was season three that we just watched and I didn't like season two or three. I only really enjoyed season one but it's just kind of a stupid show that's, it's entertaining, but it, it, it's stupid. It's total trash TV. Okay, so the next section is music. So I'm just going to list some songs that I enjoyed during quarter three. So first one is Come With Me by Surfaces, Fire For You by Cannons, Is It True by Tame Impala, Space Ghost Coast To Coast by Glass Animals, Medicine by Sloane Struble, Morocco by Alina Baraz, and Drugs by Anderson East. Okay, and then the next section is podcasts. So I listen to We Can Do Hard Things consistently. So it's by Glennon Doyle, and I read her book Untamed in, I think I read it in May or June. It was right before her podcast dropped. So I read Untamed and I loved it. It was amazing. And then I saw that she had a podcast come out. And so I think it started in May, but I listened to every single episode. I'm still up to date. And then they started putting out two episodes a week. So it's her and her sister, Amanda, and then I think her wife, Abby, Wanback, I think is her last name. I don't know, she was some pro 
soccer player. But anyway, so she like comes on, you know, certain episodes, not on every single one, but it's amazing. I love the topics that they talk about. I agree with everything they say. So I really enjoyed that. And then Demi Lovato came out with a podcast called 4D with Demi Lovato and they have different guests on each week. So I haven't listened to every single episode, but I listened to the one with Bretman Rock and Jojo Siwa and Drew Barrymore, a few others too, and I really enjoyed it. So I like that one too. And then the next section is stationery. I had to put this in here because I love stationery. I didn't really buy a lot of new items in quarter three, but I did buy a new pen and fell in love with it and I've used it ever since. I bought a three pack. I think I got it off Amazon, but it's the Muji pen. It's a gel ink pen and the size is 0.5 and it's a black, it's just a regular black pen, but I really love it. And I've never liked a 0.5 pen before. Usually I'm a 0.7 or higher, like a, like a thicker uh, end to my pens, but this one is thinner and I really enjoy it. So I'll show it up close. It says it's made in Japan, but this is the Muji gel pen. And then the next section is, I did a miscellaneous section because I wanted to mention that I got a new table for our entryway. So I will show that entryway table and I bought a lamp and then a mirror to go above it and then a vase with some decor on it. Um, and then we also have our little Dilly Memorial. Um, so her box of ashes is on there and her clay paw print um, and then we are going to add we haven't finished it yet but we are going to add a picture of her in a picture frame on there so that is coming soon but i will show a clip of the the full entryway in the video so that you can see it but i really love it we bought it from this cute little furniture shop near our house it's in village district and it's called oh it's called nago so if you're in the area and you're looking for furniture i think it's called nado furniture with a soul it's affordable it's really great and i also got the lamp from there and the base as well okay and then i had a section for books because i read a lot but i did not like any of the books that i read in quarter three which kind of sucks i was in like a book slump so I, I'm reading a book now called The Immortalist, and I'm almost finished with it. I have like four chapters left, so I could include that because I do enjoy it. It's right here. So this is the, the book The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. And I go back and forth with loving it and hating it. So I'm not sure if it would make it in my favorites, but I don't have any books to talk about from quarter three. So I'm just going to talk about this one because I did start this in September. Maybe I'll read the, the ending and I'll really, really love it. I kind of go back and forth with loving and hating it. So I don't know, but I thought I would mention at least one. Okay. And then the next section is clothing. So I, would, I thought I would talk about clothing that I enjoyed in the last quarter. So I just put Stitch Fix for this one because I used to get the subscription box years ago and I got it for probably about a year and then I stopped getting because I was getting too many things and then I realized when I went back on the app that you can just shop on there and your size information is saved. So all the things that you're shopping for are already in your size. So you don't have to worry when you click on something that you like, if they're going to have your size or not. So that's been amazing. And you can just like click on it and see if you like it and add it to your cart. Super easy. Like all your information saved. So it's super easy to check out, which is kind of dangerous, but I bought some pieces over the summer that I really enjoyed. So I wanted to mention that and I'm going to show them here and then I'll probably add in a clip of me, either a picture or a clip of me wearing it so that you can see what it looks like on. So the first one is this skirt, this long flowy yellow skirt. Yellow is my favorite color. So I really, really enjoyed this one and it's super comfortable and breezy. I, I love it a lot. So I wore that a lot over the summer. And then the second one, I fell off the hanger, but second item is this really cute blouse. It doesn't look very cute um, holding it up, 
but I will put in, like I said, a clip of me wearing it so you can see, but it's just really cute. Um, this cute little like peplum blouse with some uh, flowers on it. I, I only wore this a couple of times, but I do really enjoy it. I think it'll be cute for spring, so I'll wear it more in the spring. And then I have another dress that I bought off Stitch Fix that I really, really loved. It's super comfortable, it's really cute. I wore it a lot, but it is actually in the laundry right now, so I will just put a clip of me wearing it, that. The last thing, it's, I didn't get on Stitch Fix, it's from Nike, but I wanted to mention it because I wore it a lot. I did not think that I would ever wear biker shorts or enjoy them, but they're so comfortable. I wore it, um, I wore them to go run errands in, uh, to do yoga, to do anything active. They're super comfortable and I believe those are in the laundry as well. So I will show that, um, I'll show a clip of me wearing them, but they're just biker short, black biker shorts from Nike. And I thought I would mention that because I wore them a lot, like probably too much. Okay, and then the last section is food. I wanted to mention things that I enjoyed eating. So the first one is my Mediterranean or Greek salad that I made up. I kind of used sort of a recipe from HelloFresh and then like did my own twist on it. So I kind of like made up this recipe, but I use it a lot for meal prepping and it's really refreshing. It's great for summer. So I, I think I've already, by the time this video is up, it should already be up on my channel, the meal prepping video that I filmed, and I show you how to make that. So check that out if you haven't yet. I also wanted to mention a protein smoothie on YouTube by Clean and Delicious is the YouTube channel. She's vegan and a lot of her food is really tasty so I saw her make this protein shake and it looked pretty easy and it looked really yummy so it's a chocolate protein smoothie but I tweaked it and put my own spin on it so I did not put this in the meal prepping video but I will link the the recipe below but I've been making that a lot for lunch or a snack or breakfast in the morning and it's really yummy and wholesome and it fills you up and it keeps you full for a long time so I really like that and then lastly I added muffin cups because we found these muffin cups at the grocery store from Kodiak is the brand and they are delicious and they have a lot of protein in them being vegetarian it's hard to get in protein every day so we saw these and they have like I think 10 to 12 grams of protein in each one and it's basically just a little cup of like muffin mix that you add either water or milk to so we just add almond milk to it and I think it's a fourth a cup of almond milk you add to it and you pop it in the microwave for a minute or so and it's delicious and has a lot of protein and it's quick. My top flavors or my favorite flavors are the dark chocolate and blueberry and then Crystal likes the there's a cinnamon one too. There's multiple flavors, but there's a cinnamon, I think it's like a cinnamon roll flavor, but she really enjoys that one. Okay, so I think that's it for my quarter three favorites. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!